Hi, I'm Mr. Tie-Dye, and today I'm going to do an incline ice dye. So I'm starting with a t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash, it's been spun out, and hung to dry. So what I'm going to do now, I've marked a spot here where I want the center of my design to be, and I'm just going to fold this in half just like I was doing a Mandela. We're going to fold it in half, back on itself once, and then back on itself a second time and then we'll flip it over and we'll do the same thing for the other side and I'm just making sure that all of my creases are lined up since this is going to be an ice die that's where I'm going to be laying my powder at so we'll fold that up fold this up and then just for good measure just to make it easier since I'm going to be putting ice on this and I'm going to be holding it this way. That's an awful lot of area for the dye to soak through. So just for good measure, I'm going to fold just the bottom of that up on both sides. Just like that. And then we're going to get that tied up. But that will give me a, a nice surface area then to lay my die into. So we'll get this tied up and then we'll get some die put on it. That will be a, in the, the next video here. And I'm just using kite string and I'm not cinching it down tightly. I just need it to stay together. Everything holds itself in place here. Uh, so rubber bands or even if all you have is sinew, you can use sinew, just I wouldn't cinch it down tight for this particular design. So let's get the rest of that tied up. tails in a little bit and then tie that off okay I think this is ready for some dye I can find the end to knot it okay so check back with me in my second video like I say I'll tie this off but then this here is where I'm going to be laying the die. Let's zoom in just a little bit here. So you can see I got a nice channel here to sprinkle my die on. And then we'll get this dyed up. So check back with me. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like them, please click the thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Thank you.